favorite reassuring quote on mental illness comes from Willie Nelson, who says, if you ain't crazy, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Seven years ago, I was officially diagnosed with a mental health challenge called a mood disorder. That was also the year I found this wonderful congregation. We folks on the broad mood disorder spectrum, ranging from cyclothymia to severe bipolar disorder, are sometimes advised by the mental health community not to name our particular diagnosis because other people sometimes make assumptions about such labels, false assumptions, and no two of us struggle alike. For instance, you've all seen Psycho, right? <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> My mom had severe health issues, and my Army Colonel dad had PTSD. So I was buttoned down early and firmly. I grew up behaving myself. I never learned to act out or scream or even cry. I am no drama mama. People often say, oh, you seem so calm. On the inside, sometimes it's messier. I actually have to tap my husband on the shoulder and tell him when I'm in one of my moods. Not that kind of mood. Men always get that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody, I'm weirdly wired. 
<laughs> Ultimately, though, my well-being is up to me. One shrink actually congratulated me on not being a drug addict or an alcoholic or a prostitute or dead or in jail. <laughs> well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> sort of a sideways compliment. Wow, lucky me. <clears throat> my husband and my children help me a lot, at least when they're not making me crazier. One big challenge has been accepting that my feelings and my perspectives are not always reliable reflections of reality. I've been encouraged to remember that, for me, things are rarely as catastrophic or as perfect as they might seem at any moment. It's really hard, though, not to be able to trust my own bright, dutifully educated brain and my own spiritually scrutinized and extensively self-helped emotions. I have to remember that the highly distracting emotional and mental <coughs> stories that sometimes take over my brain might just be my stupid, untrustworthy chemistry doing its thing and not some urgent reality that I must immediately react to, or fix, or change, or run away from, or do something about. No, they're just thoughts, just feelings, passing clouds I can let go of, theoretically. As Jerry Kripo writes, I'm learning not to feel guilty about my guilt, not to believe my beliefs, not to think my thoughts. <clears throat> Thank you, Evan Carl and Jeffrey. <clears throat> my own peculiar brain randomly concocts unrealistically optimistic narratives and sometimes self-protectively cynical ones. This wide mood spectrum actually works pretty well for a would-be opinion writer like me. It makes me more empathetic with the wide range of humanity's extremes. So usually, given some time, I can offer a fairly level-headed middle ground of experiential connections and insights arising from my own lifetime struggle to make sense of things, to understand life, despite my confusing shifts in perspective. But I no longer try to understand life. I've concluded that life is a mystery, a terrible, beautiful mystery. I'm steadier now than before. My family and my therapists say so, and I agree. On the bright side, <clears throat> we mood disordered folk have some really nice qualities in common. Solid research, solid research has shown us to be generally very bright, creative, funny, energetic, and intuitive. And of course, we're great lovers. <laughs> Which at 72 makes me clearly delusional. <laughs> Mental illness can be fun. <laughs> I'll vouch for it. <laughs> Publicly declaring my official membership in Frederick's diverse mental health community is embarrassing especially for a perfectionist columnist. But it's not like it's some big secret, especially here. And besides, struggling with mental health issues should never be something to be ashamed of. Because diagnosed or not, labeled or not, helped or not, everyone struggles. Everyone feels shame. We all hide sometimes. But folks, well, 
folks, there's no humanity in perfection. And thank goodness we're all saved from perfection, right? <laughs> thank you. The day I walked in that door seven years ago felt like still does. I am so grateful to be sharing this weird and wonderful life with my very own supportive, accepting, deeply thoughtful, and deeply caring Unitarian Universalist congregation of Frederick. Rise as you are able. Please sing with me hymn num number 1015 in your teal uh, hymnal. It's called I Know. 